So in this section, we are going to assign material. Uh, as we mentioned before, here is the coil and we want to make that a copper. So we assign the material. Mention copper here. And as you can see, if we click on view edit material, we can change the parameters, uh, which we're not going to do today, but they also note there is no BH curve here. You'll see a change when we choose a different material such as a steel for next step. So please note coil is under not assign. And as soon as I hit click, it moved here. A new category is created, which is copper. Next, we're going to choose the armature and the frame. And here we'll be assigning material again. You can either right click on the model or you can right click here. This time I'm doing the left hand side. And we are going to use the steel 1010 for this uh, example. View material. Now you see there is a BH curve here. Once you click on that BH curve, there is already a curve that you can see here. So uh, this is when you don't have any hysteresis. If you want to have hysteresis model, you need to go and import data set here. So I'm going to do that right now. So you go and import data set and uh, you have different uh, extension that you can use. The best one is tab file. So we use tab, as you can see, this popped up. Choose that one and please note the change here. You can either do that by importing a file or you can also do it manually by inserting number here. Just uh, when you do that, make sure that the very last number here on the left-hand side and the right-hand side are, are exactly the same, but negative. So as you can see, we start with minus 1.7 and all the way to plus 1.7. So if you choose this chart, you'll see a hysteresis behavior. If you don't choose that one and stick with the last one that I showed you, you will see a non-hysteresis behavior. So that's how you see different uh, material in terms of hysteresis behavior, and you can uh, solve them to see the effect of hysteresis. So then you say, okay, okay, and note the armature and frame are here. As soon as I okay, they're changed. Okay, so far we uh, assigned the material, we made the excitation, and we also uh, had the uh, force over there. So I added the other setting here, like for the mesh and for the analysis. So you can make a setup. Our setup is uh, point 0.1 for the set time and time step. I won't go in detail, but very quickly uh, show you the, the properties. This is what we choose for safe field advanced solver and expression cache, this should be imported. And uh, regarding of mesh, we have this three mesh. And also make sure that you are on transient at the very beginning. If you are on a different uh, solution type, make sure you change them by right click and choosing the right solution type. Okay, so the model is ready. Uh, I'll run the model and get back to you. With that, you say set up and then analyze. So after solving the model, we can uh, plot different results. Here we see the input current that uh, we inserted manually. And then here we will see the force is kilo, kilo newton meter and you can see how the hysteresis uh, behavior uh, affected the force another part that we can see is the bh curve uh, please note that we changed the x-axis and the y-axis here so the x-axis is not time and these are different points 
that uh, it's creating the uh, regular uh, hysteresis BHQ of the TC. And lastly, this is force uh, versus current, and it's also shaping that behavior. So we reviewed very quickly what uh, hysteresis is it, and we showed a model that uh, uses ANSYS to solve a simulation for his sister material, which was an armature. Uh, I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, let us know. And as I mentioned before, we are a light channel partner of ANSYS. We use uh, physics-based simulation to solve multidisciplinary engineering problems. And if you have any question or you need any service, please feel free to reach us at info at odaninc.com and we are located in Bay Area, California. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.